Good morning. What's happening? In today's live show, we're going to look at how to add subscribe to your channel uh, animated overlay with audio in Ecamm Live. By the way, Ecamm Live is the live streaming application that runs only on Mac, and that's the best live streaming application uh, that can run on Mac. Towards the end of this show, I'm also going to show you two bonus tips. So stick around and watch the whole show to see those tips. If you're watching this as a replay, make sure that you watch the whole video uh, to see those tips. If you don't know who I am, my name is Vigil Bose and welcome to Let's Connect Show on Connectin. We do product reviews and provide tips and strategies to help you create professional live content. Are you aware that Ecamm Live does not support animated overlay with audio? Let's find that out. So I'm going to go into um, live demo mode so that you will be able to see what I'm doing. I'm turning on live demo mode. Now, actually, you can see the Ecamm interface. So, under Overlays menu, there is an option called New Animated Overlay. So, let's try to bring in an animated overlay. And I have a couple of files uh, in my Downloads folder, and one of them is Subscribe and Like Overlay.mov. So, that's what I'm trying to bring it in. All right? Uh-oh. Actually, it gives, gives me two options. One is to play full screen with audio, and second option is add animated overlay. And maybe we'll, let's, let's also read this text. Do you want to add this file as an animated overlay? Animated overlays do not include audio. So obviously, this is not the behavior that I want and you want. Uh, I want animated overlay to be played on top of my main video source with audio. For example, if I try to do this one, add animated overlay, and this is what I see, but there's no audio associated with that overlay. Obviously, this is not what I want. So let me remove this guy. Um, okay, let me turn off the live demo mode so that uh, you'll be able to see the, my screen in full. So what is the alternate uh, way to bring uh, animated overlay with audio. I'm using two other technologies today to demonstrate how you can bring an animated overlay in Ecamm. Uh, you know. So let's check that out. And one of them is it's a hardware device called Atom Mini or Atom Mini Pro or Atom Mini Pro ISO. There are three live streaming uh, professional switchers from Blackmagic. I'm using Atom Mini Pro. You can also use Atom Mini also for this. And second one is called HyperDeck Studio Mini. HyperDeck Studio Mini is a recorder come uh, uh, a playback device. In today's demonstration, we are only going to be using um, HyperDeck, HyperDeck Studio Mini as a playback device. Okay, let's uh, uh, get into a uh, little more details about HyperDeck Studio Mini. And if you want to know what uh, all those options available within Hyper Studio Mini? You can see all you know, every buttons are uh, labeled properly. At the back of the Hyper Desk Studio Mini, there are two things that I am interested. One is a network port, and the one is HDMI out. I am using Hyper Desk Studio Mini as a network device. That means I attached underneath my table. I also hooked up my network cable from my router into Hyper Desk Studio Mini, so that that device is accessible from anywhere in my network. And that's how I transfer video files from my computer to HyperDeck Studio Mini. All right. And the HDMI out is what I'm using to connect to my Atom Mini Pro live streaming switch. And if you look at the next uh, picture, uh, the back of the Atom Mini Pro or Atom Mini, actually, you see it here. And there are four input um, sources that you can connect. My HyperDeck Studio Mini is connected to as a fourth input to into Atom Mini Pro. And my main video that you're seeing me, the main camera video feed is connected to uh, input number one, okay? And uh, let me get into a live demo mode so that uh, uh, you'll be able to see a uh, little more, more options. Here, 
I'm showing you Atom Software Control. Atom Software Control is a software from Blackmagic uh, through which you can control Atom Mini or Atom Mini Pro or Atom Mini ISO or uh, uh, the high-end uh, switches from Blackmagic, uh, live streaming switches from Blackmagic. And this software is very powerful. It, is, it has got lots of options. Um, and uh, one of the things actually is, actually if we click on this gear icon, you see this. Uh, and if you go into Hyperdeck, and see, look at that. And this software has got a native integration uh, with my Hyperdeck Studio Mini. That means I can control um, the Hyperdeck, uh, you know, through the software. And it is connected as input number four, and it's a camera number four. Actually, this is treated as a camera four, and it's connected to my H input number four. All right. Okay. So now, if you um, look at the the right the uh, the rightmost um, side of the uh, the the iAtom software control and the bunch of um, tabs here, palettes, media player, output. And if you click on the media player, you see that. Uh, Hyperdex is already connected and and I have two clips here but I'm interested only in playing the subscribe and like overlay okay the one that you just saw uh, a minute ago all right now going to the palettes uh, tab and uh, the bunch of options here and what we are interested in here is the upstream key one and this key is used to key in uh, an animated overlays when you do a transition from one camera source to another camera source, that means you are switching from one camera angle to another camera, or maybe one camera to another camera. Here, my camera one is my main video main video feed, and camera four is the video or the animated overlay feed from my Hyperdex Studio Mini. Okay, so, and I'm also interested in the Luma. Uh, there are a bunch of options here: Luma, Chroma, Pattern, and DVE. But we are going to look at Luma. What is actually Luma? Luma provides a way to composite a foreground clip on top of a background clip, you know, based on the uh, luminance available in the video signal. So here I have two options here, fill source and key source. My fill source is a background uh, video feed, which is actually a feed from camera one. That is my image that you're seeing now. And key source is actually where the animated overlay is actually coming from. That is my Hyperdex Studio Mini. So I choose camera one and camera four. And there's one more option actually that I'm interested in. It's called pre-multiplied key. What is actually uh, here, by default, this is actually going to be enabled. So make sure that it is disabled so that you have more control in, uh, in the, the transparency and the color information of the animated overlay and also the, the, the background, uh, the, the, the video as well. So I dialed in as 27.8 and 25.3 is gain as the optimum uh, levels for my um, an overlay to be displayed on top of the, the background. And here also I make sure that the invert key is selected. That is very important. In addition to that, because you also want to bring the audio from each of those camera sources, right? So Atom Mini or Atom Mini Pro or Atom Mini Pro Switch uh, has got uh, uh, options to enable the sound from uh, each of those input sources, the video sources. And it is called Audio Follow Video Mode. It's a button. Actually, if you uh, go back to the previous, uh, and if you just watch it, um, actually, I showed you in the earlier uh, image of the Atom Mini Pro that has highlighted. Those audio buttons are highlighted. So make sure that the Audio Follow Video Mode is enabled for the input source uh, for which you are bringing the audio. Okay? That is very important. Otherwise, the audio will not be heard. All right, so now what I need to do is when I do these settings, this is all, these are the two settings that I need to do, the, the uh, fill source, key source, and the um, clip and the gain and the invert key. That's it. And then coming back to the this area, this, um, you know, Atom, all the Atom switches has got two modes, preview mode and program mode. And preview mode is actually used for uh, to actually, um, uh, that means actually you will be able to preview um, what, is the, what are the uh, preview of each of those camera angles because I have got uh, actually I'm using um, four different 
uh, camera sources. Actually, one is my main camera. I have got a second camera uh, connected to my ATEM. And I have a third one is my computer connected to my ATEM because I can also connect computer as a camera source because it has got HDMI out. And uh, the fourth one is my HyperDuck Studio Mini. Okay. Um, so I can see all those preview uh, using preview mode. And it's also used, for example, if you want to actually switch from camera one to camera four, make sure that your preview is set to camera four so that you will be able to switch between one and four camera inputs. Okay, that is what you're going to be doing now here. Okay, so here I wanted to actually uh, transition, actually switch from a camera one to camera four. So I am setting the camera four in the preview mode. And then I make sure that the background is selected because my background, I'm going to key in on top of the background. Okay, and the background is selected and make sure that the key one is also selected. That's all I need to do. Okay, and I'm going to show you a uh, a demonstration of how that animated overlay is going to come from that HyperDeck Studio Mini. Now, you see this. Look at that. Now, that animated overlay is played in Ecamm Live with that audio. Isn't that awesome? It's a fantastic feature, but actually, you know what? You have to have this item mini or item mini pro or high-end model like uh, item mini pro ISO to enable this feature. And uh, um, the beauty of HyperDeck Studio Mini is actually, you know, um, no matter because it is continuously running. So, but no matter how fast it is running, or you know, if it is in the loop, or you know, I can control the moment I switch it, it's going to play from the beginning of that file, and that is an awesome feature uh, built in um, uh, and as part of the uh, the, uh, the HyperDeck Studio Mini. And that is what I really like to show you today. But actually, there are a few other things that I really I also want to touch on today. Um, for example, if I'm switching my camera angle to two, uh, for example, I'm say changing my camera angle to two here. Uh, it's camera angle two. So all I need to do is um, in the actually uh, in the previous. Uh, so okay, here. Uh, what you need to do is um, look at this camera one. The camera one should be changed to camera two. Okay, that's all you need to do. The rest is all same. And uh, now uh, on my video, uh, you will be able to see that animated overlay is played. Look at that. That's all I need. That's it. That's simple. Because that animated overlay stays on my uh, one second stays on my uh, background image for, for 14 seconds. So what I usually do is because it's going to be very difficult to um, to actually uh, you know handle using your fingers. So that you know um, so what I do is actually I created macros. Atom Software Control allows you to create macros. The macro is actually the one way to um, screen record all your actions that you that you do on that uh, atom software control and that uh, macro is also mapped into my uh, another device called stream deck that allows me to to control my live stream you know so i can actually control just by you know by just a simple button uh, you know uh, button press that's it so uh, let me show you the macros that i created for this see i've got two macros here subscribe and subscribe to and these macros are mapped into my Stream Deck using a third-party software called uh, Companion, and uh, you know from I think it's a company name is called Bitfocus. But today's show, I'm not going to go into that because it's going to be a little more. Uh, you know, I think that that should be a show on its own to actually talk about it. But just for the for the sake of you know, for uh, for the for the demonstration purposes, I'm just you know, I'm just telling you that this is the best way to do it, so that uh, you don't have to. Because a bunch of things that you're doing here, you have to make sure that your preview should be you know, set it to, uh, you know, the next in line, the next camera should be, you know, should be transitioned to. And then you do the background uh, has to be checked, key one has to be checked. All those things you can automate it. And everything, including the camera, the fill source, key source, all those settings, you can automate it. All right. So let's, uh, let's go into the bonus step number one. 
animated a lower third in Zoom and StreamYard. Okay, so let's take a Zoom for example. Zoom is a is a video conferencing um, application. I'm actually uh, bringing in Zoom. Mm. Let me go into the screen mode. So this is actually a Zoom, uh, the main window, and there's a little gear gear icon on to the, the the top right corner. You click on that, that brings up this uh, window, and there is a video option here. Look at that. That camera, that video source is actually coming from my main camera. Okay. And guess what? Look at that. Oh, sorry. I think I think I need to. I need to do one little thing here because I didn't change my camera source. See, this should be camera one. There you go. Then if I do, there you go. And you see that, and it plays on top of my video file in Zoom application. Okay, you get the idea. Okay, you don't really need to use subscribe to your channel in Zoom. But you can actually uh, use the same concept in bringing an animated uh, overlay in Zoom application. So that, that's the reason I just want to show you this tip. So let me close uh, Zoom. And uh, let me go to the next one. And uh, let's actually bring up uh, a StreamYard. OK. StreamYard is, uh, again, a live streaming. Uh, it's a cloud-based uh, stage two live streaming uh, application that runs in a Chrome browser. And if you look at that, uh, I'm already connected to one of the broadcasts. I select the camera as this one. And uh, now, are you seeing this? No, you're not seeing this. OK, let me show you this demonstration. And this is actually a StreamYard um, setting. I think let me go back here because you didn't see what I was doing. So this is, as soon as you log in, um, you know, I think, uh, let me go back real quick. As soon as you log in, actually, this is this is the screen you see. And I created a bunch of broadcasts here, you know, so I'm going to get entered into one of the test broadcasts that I created. I am logged, I am getting in, I'm entering into the broadcast studio. And this is the um, interface that you see. And now you click on the camera mic option. And there you go, and you see the uh, my camera feed, my main camera feed, Blackmagic uh, camera feed. That's actually coming from my Atom Mini Pro. And here, also, I'm going to show the animator overlay here. Look at that. So in StreamYard, this is a perfect uh, you know, example where you know you can bring in an animator overlay in StreamYard using the same um, steps that I showed you earlier. All right, let me close the uh, um, StreamYard. And uh, what is the next um, okay, this is the this is the second tip. Second tip is the animated lower third using a computer. Actually, I showed you how you can bring an animated lower third using Hyperdeck Studio Mini. Hyperdeck Studio Mini is an additional investment that you have to make. Sometimes you know it may not it may not be feasible for everybody. But I also have an alternate solution. All you need is a second computer. Uh, and, and you can also use that uh, second computer to bring in an emitter overlay. So that's what I'm going to show you as a second tip. OK, here um, I've connected my old MacBook Pro uh, 2014 model as one of the camera sources into Atom um, switch. and. The, the beauty of 2014 model is that it already has an HDMI output, so I don't need any adapter to connect uh, that MacBook Pro into the, the, the Atom switch or you know, the capture card. Here I'm using Atom switch. So, and I already have that animated overlay is continuously playing, and it's a QuickTime file, so I'm, I, I, know, I set it to, to play in, in a loop mode. So it's already playing in my computer, and I connected to the camera source three. So what I need to do is um, let me get into the uh, screen share mode. So now, see here, the fill source is actually uh, my camera feed. This is the main camera, but key source I'm going to change because my animated overlay now is going to come from my computer, not from Hypertext Studio Mini. So I need to change this key for to camera three. Okay. 
The rest is all same. The rest of the day I'm not changing it. But now, here in the preview mode, what you need to do is, here you are actually switching from camera one to camera three. Earlier, we, I showed you, you switch from camera one to camera four because my animated overlay was coming from HyperDuck Studio Mini. Now, the same thing is coming from camera three, which is my computer. So I have to make sure that my preview mode is set to camera three. So that means it is already in line for the next transition. And make sure that the background is checked and the key one is selected. And, uh, and now, if I want to show you the demonstration, uh, let's do this. Look at that. And it is, it just works. Um, it just works. But the, uh, you, ju you just noticed uh, one little glitch there uh, because the, 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 the peculiarity of, um, or maybe the unique feature of the HyperDeck Studio Mini is that, you know, the moment you switch it, it's going to play from the beginning of that video clip coming from HyperDeck Studio Mini. But since this is, um, you know, this file is also running in computer and in a loop mode, the problem with that is there is no way you can control, you uh, know, the, this, the beginning of that video file through Atom software. And it's going to show up, you know, probably that video file, uh, it's, it's actually, it's in the middle. Otherwise, what happens actually is you have to really manually, um, you know, go and play that file. That's going to be a little tricky one because otherwise, unless you do some, an external mapping to that computer, control that action through your HyperDuck, uh, you know, switch. There's a separate uh, uh, you know, stream stream duck. Maybe you can do that. I have not tried that. Uh, that's something that I'll, I'll try out and, and let you know later. But this is a caveat. Um, when you play it from a computer, you know, and if it is in a continuous mode, then there's no guarantee that that file is going to start playing from the beginning. That's why you saw that uh, when I played it, for example, if I, I tried it, um, even now, see that? Now it's actually showing because you know, I, I timed it correctly. So you have to really time it you know, as to when, that, uh, when you actually um, do the transition. Sometimes, um, you know, if the timing is not correct, it's gonna you know, start showing up probably the, the, in the middle of that uh, animated overlay, all right? And uh, that's all I have for you guys today and hope you enjoyed what I showed you. And if you like what I, what I showed you, uh, please subscribe to our channel uh, so that you will, and click the notification bell so that you will not miss uh, any single video content or any live show in the future. All right. And uh, I don't see anybody uh, online. Um, I think there are there are uh, yeah there are there are four uh, viewers, but I don't see anybody's comments. But if you have any questions, please use the comment box to uh, send your questions, and I'm uh, more than happy to answer any questions. I will be reading all your comments. Um, if you have any questions now, I think you know I, I can stick around and, and answer your questions. Otherwise, you know, and I'll see you in the next uh, uh, live video. Bye.